Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our JavaScript series. In this video, we are going to talk about that can we overload a function or method overloading is possible in JavaScript or not. In Java, C++, C Sharp, in other uh, compile based programming languages, we have seen that method overloading concept. But do we have any concept like method overloading in JavaScript? So the answer is no, we cannot overload a method or method overloading concept is not there in JavaScript. So let's see this practically that how exactly if we really want to achieve this particular feature with the method overloading, is it really possible or not? If method overloading is not possible, then how can we write the code for a particular function with different arguments? So let's create a simple file here. And here I'm writing, let's see, method over loading dot JS. Okay. Remember method overloading is absolutely not possible and it's not supported in JavaScript. Why? First of all, because method overloading is always a compile time polymorphism. It will be decided at the compile time that, okay, which method has to be called. For example, let's see if I have created one function here and the function name is, uh, let's see, once again, I'm writing a print function and then I'm writing another function here let's see here i'm writing that okay fine you give me one variable name here and then i'm going to try to overload this particular function let's see one more time that i'm giving name comma age here so if you write the code with uh, java or c sharp or uh, c plus plus then i can definitely overload and then when the moment i call the specific function on the basis of the parameter at the compile time on the basis of the value that you are passing at the compile time it will be decided that it will be calling zero parameter or name parameter or name or age. But in JavaScript, we don't give any data type of the variable. So here it will not be decided that, okay, which method has to be called here. So Java script provides complete flexibility that you don't need to give any uh, data type of the specific variable. It will be decided at the runtime here. Okay. So in that case, for example, if I'm writing something here, Let's see console.log and then I'm just printing a message here. Let's see hi. Simple. And here I'm writing console.log hi, whatever the name that you are passing. Okay. And here I'm writing that hi, the, your name is this. And then I'm putting some space. And now if I call this particular function, which function will be called? First one, second one, and the third one in JavaScript. Let's see, I'm calling the function here. So this is calling part. So see this carefully. In this case, what will happen? It will start calling the third function only. So what will happen? The first function that we have written here, it will be replaced by at the runtime with this function. And then again, it has another copy of the print function. Then this function also will be replaced by the third function. Now the current function will be considered. Other two functions will be overwritten by the latest function over here. So for example, if I'm running it, see this and let's see. The class name is method overloading.js. I'm running it with node and then run it, although we are not passing anything. So it will start giving you the default value of name and age. That's why it's giving you high undefined and age is also undefined here. It's not printing only high. It's printing undefined and age undefined. If I'm giving only some specific uh, name here, for example, if I'm passing a Naveen here in that case, again, the same method will be called name is equal to Naveen and age is equal to undefined here. Here you can see that high Naveen age is undefined here. If I'm giving the age also, let's see 20 here. Then again, the same method will be called with the specific value. Now you can say Naveen and then age is a 20 here like that. Perfect. So hence prove that, okay, yes, that method overloading is not possible. Now these two methods, you cannot use it because after declaration of the, these three methods, if you really want to a uh, call, this function will be considered over here. But remember one thing, let's see if I'm calling this particular function here like this, and now I'm writing print. Will it print high? Only high. Let's see. And for time being, let's see, just comment it out this one. And then I'm running it again. Now you can say again, high undefined and age undefined will be called. Again, I told you, right? It will be decided at the runtime. At the runtime, it will go and check in this particular JavaScript file. We have three methods, print, print, and print. And doesn't matter that, okay, you are calling it after this, but not after these two. Okay. So it will consider the overall picture. In the overall picture, three methods are there. 
and then whenever you are calling the print it will always consider the latest one that you have written here like this okay so let me just remove it from here but the question here is that with this thing you have to write only one single function every time yes that's true and it is actually creating some ambiguity also plus another thing is that it is not giving me that much level of flexibility also with respect to method overloading just like in java or uh, javascript or other languages if i really want to have a specific feature with different behaviors that i cannot define it because that is the main purpose of the method overloading that for example if i really want to perform a let's say i really want to create a function which is a search function and then in e-commerce application i can search with the name also i can search with name and price also name price color also name price color seller also name price color payment also different parameters i can supply it okay in the form of method overloading but here in javascript you cannot do that you have to pass all the parameters in one single function only otherwise you have to create another function for that okay so let's take one uh, example that if i really want to write a code that uh, for example let's see if i really want to run my test cases okay so let's see the requirement is that run your test cases on the remote browser or on the remote machine so for that you need three things the first thing is that you need on which browser you want to run tell me the browser name you tell me the browser version and then you have to tell me you really want to run the test cases on the remote machine or not this remote machine can be a boolean value that yes or no if it is a no if it is false that you want to run it in your local otherwise you want to run it on some other cloud or browser version you have to give it to me let's see and the browser name is also chrome 115 on the remote machine just like we use it in selenium that web driver manager or sorry uh remote web, uh, driver manager something like this so here how to develop a logic for that so let's create one function here let's see function and uh, let's see the function name is a display browser info function and the display browser info function i'm passing these three parameters okay using these three parameters here that user has to give me browser name browser version and the remote execution and again i cannot use the method overloading so i'm writing a couple of if else condition and then i will check at the runtime that what is the type of the data that you are passing like a string type or numeric type or a boolean type so here i'm writing one simple if condition here and then i'm using this particular type of operator and then i'm writing browser name if it is equal to equal to equal to what if it is equal to equal to let's see a kind of a string okay like this or let's start with the browser version because we know that user has to pass the browser name okay that's important because browser name has to be passed along with that user can pass up, uh, some other information also here like this and then i'm using let's see one and end operator and i really want to check the remote execution type of also so i'm writing the type of remote execution is equal to equal to equal to single quote what it's if it is a boolean then what will happen in that case and then in that case i simply write that console dot lock and see i'm using back tick operator here like this this two spatial characters if you can see the back tick back tick means whenever you want to use any spatial string or any regular expression based string if you really want to use don't use single quote or double quote so for example let's see i'm writing that your browser that you really want to use browser dollar and the browser version or sorry browser name you can supply it here so see this carefully i'm writing dollar with curly braces so this kind of a string i should not write or i cannot write in single quote or double quote so we have to write a back tick over here and then i'm writing one comma and what is the next information that you really want to print i'm saying okay fine that you uh whatever the version is uh, there so for version dollar curly braces and then here i'm writing that browser uh version here again put a comma and uh, tell me that remote execution so remote execution i'm writing that remote execution colon and then again i'm writing dollar and curly braces that the remote execution is true or false simple so let's see this is a simple one console dot log with the if condition that we have written here if user is passing browser version and the remote execution browser name has to be passed from the user for example like that and then i'm writing another else if here just to check what if user is passing only browser version then in that case what will you do 
then in that case let's see if user is passing only browser version then in that case again i'm checking only the browser version for example let's see type of uh, browser version i'll just quickly copy this thing from here and you can write according to your requirement this is just a simple use case i'm using it here so let's see here i'm writing the console.log and the browser name is this and the browser version is uh, something like this i'm not printing remote execution here because user has not given any uh, remote execution information here and then finally i'm writing let's see one else part and in the else part that again i'm writing that uh, console.log and what do you want to print let's see in the console.log i just want to print the browser name and that's it so remove all these other information from here perfect so this is what let's see we have uh, created a simple function now see i'm going to call this function let's call it with different parameters or different arguments so display browser info and uh, let's see the first time i'm passing all three values i'm giving chrome 115 comma remote execution true or false so yeah let's see this is a a true then in that case let's see what happens so i'm going to do what i'm going to run this and uh, here i'm writing that node let me check i'm the right directory yes and then node method overloading.js okay so here it's giving me the browser actually browser version should be number right so we have to write number here that is a small mistake that i have done here okay let's run it again now you can see that it's printing browser chrome version 115 and the remote execution true perfect okay then what if i'm calling once again and let me just uh, pass this time only then run it again then it says okay yeah user is passing only browser chrome and browser version 115 this is exactly same thing we do in method overloading right we create number of method with the same name different parameters here also only one method with different uh, if else condition we have written like this now let me clear the console and let's pass this time only the browser so let's see this time i'm passing the browser is only firefox but i'm not passing anything other than that so only firefox i'm passing let's see in that case what happens so here it says that okay yeah the browser is only firefox perfect so this is the way you have to write the conditions if else conditions here like that okay so better to avoid all these confusing part like so many if else condition we have to write because you never know that how many parameters we have to pass so better you create different functions like display uh if i passing let's see only browser name so display browser name display browser name with version display remote execution like that okay so better you create n number of functions with different names and whatever the parameters that you can pass you can pass it here instead of writing so many complex if else conditions here that will make your code very slow also in that case and definitely the method overloading is actually not possible in javascript so there is no point of overloading the specific method also in your code with javascript so i hope this concept is a uh, clear now so at a time of interview if someone is asking method overloading is possible in javascript no it is not possible that's all for this video thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all guys